Hi, this is Henrik D. working with Pentaho. In the previous videos, I showed you how you could extract data from an API using the REST and the JSON input. And um, this is uh, the result so far. We have a table with a table ID, and we have some table text describing the table. And then we have a URL that is pointing to the, the metadata for the table. So in this video, I'll show you how you can extract the metadata or some of the metadata so that we can start working, uh, collecting the data. So let's go to uh, Pentaho and um, I'm gonna use uh, a table input node here for For um, to get the URL and the table name, and we take it from table names, and we set a limit for ten because we have seventeen hundred tables, so that would take some time if we had to wait for that. So this is now we have the, the our URL here. Then we need the REST client, and we take. We use um, we accept the URL from a field. Yeah, we have the URL. Uh, we extracted that one, and we're gonna have this as JSON. We've done this in video one, so if you've seen that one, this should be familiar to you. So this should do that, and then we need to extract the table in here. I think the trick might come. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, we need the JSON input, of course. Um, we have the JSON input here, and you can see, uh, yeah, sources are um, uh, defined as a field. Yes, that's right, and it's uh, the result we need, and then we need the fields, um, and this is uh, this can be a a bit tr tricky what to write here because what do we need from the, the metadata, what, how, how do we put in the path? So let's go back to the API. I have it here. Um, you can see this is this is the result you we would expect when we uh, uh, use the input, uh, the JSON input. <clears throat> and uh, for the metadata, I would like, like to extract all the parameters we can use. And this is the parameter we can use. It's called variables and uh, the child is id and if we go down we can find here is also for the age you can see the id is age. And this is this is the parameters we can use later on when we're going to extract the data. So how do we get this? Yeah I can uh, I use an uh, online evaluator for this so if I take all this and copy that uh, over to this evaluator I already did it so I checked it so I have the information in here you can see this is uh, the uh, output when we have the URL call and if I use this syntax variables get me all variables uh, child ID then I get exactly the parameters so this is a great tool for you because this this syntax can be quite tricky if um, when you have to traverse uh, the, the structure in the JSON so if we go back here we can say okay in here need the parameters <clears throat> and this is uh, the path so this should do it and if just make a select values for this we can see that we can probably see that um, if we do okay Sorry, we need uh, the table name. We don't want the don't want the result. Um, we don't need the URL. Just need the table name and the parameters. So let's see if this is going to work. 
Oh yeah, we have to save it. And <clears throat> we will save this as our step three in building a small data warehouse for our extraction of data. So let's see, something is going here, yeah. It's running. Let's preview the data. So I'm only showing 10 uh, rows, uh, I set that up in Pentaho. But here you can see table it's, uh, uh, regarding abortion. You can see that it has two parameters. This one has three parameters, this one has five parameters. Or maybe six, I don't know. Um, so this is good information, but of course this is uh, on each. Um, we need that on... on uh, I think we need that uh, transposed in some way, so we'll have a look at that in a later video how we can do that. So let me just put this. Um, let me just update our. Um, uh, let me just make. A, I think I'll make a new, a new table for this, so so we can work on that uh, before we put it into our main table. So I'll put it out here in a new table. And um, we need to to we need to go to uh, the console in MySQL, and I'll make a new table here. I'll call it uh, data uh, URL, and I will put in the table name and parameters. And of course, this cannot be a uh, primary key. And this needs to be also needs to be uh, a vacha or something. Yeah, and um, yeah, it cannot be with a primary key because uh, we have uh, multiple um, table names. So let's see if uh, we can find the target table in here. There we go, and we're gonna choose. Uh, this is um, quite easy. There you go. There you go, and let's preview it from here. Quick launch, 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 and you can see this. Um, this request for the for the API takes some time. So, so and if we go to MySQL and we'll take a look at the data URLs, URLs, you can see that um, this is the here you go for all the data. Great. So uh, in the next video, I'll uh, try to put the the parameters up to another URL so that we can start getting the data out of the uh, from the web service